E-bikes are becoming more and more popular in Australia and around the world, but how exactly do they work? I'm gonna explain in under two minutes. By the way, my name's Andy and welcome to the channel. So the four key components that work together to power a pedal assisted e-bike, which is the most common type of e-bike you're likely to find in Australia, are the motor, the battery, the controller and the pedals. So the battery is obviously what powers everything. It's lithium, it's rechargeable. Now the controller senses when you pedal and sends power from the battery to the motor. And the harder you pedal, the more power it will send to the motor. And if you stop pedaling completely, it will stop sending power to the motor. So let's talk about the motor. Without going into too much detail, there are wire coils inside the motor. And when electricity passes through them, it creates an electromagnetic field. These then interact with other magnets inside the motor and causes a rotation. If the motor is inside a wheel hub, it will then cause the wheel to rotate, or if it's what's known as a mid-drive motor, so on the frame near the crank set, it will then cause your crank set to rotate in the same way that it would when you pedal. A front hub motor can feel a bit like someone's pulling you, a rear hub motor can feel a bit like someone's pushing you, and a mid-drive should feel the most natural when you're riding. There are a couple of other benefits to having a mid-drive, but that's a video for another day, so hit subscribe if you wanna see that. It takes two seconds and it really helps out small channels like this one. Now, most e-bikes have multiple power settings, so you can choose how much assistance you want the motor and therefore battery to give you. Obviously, the higher you go, the easier it's gonna to feel to ride, but it will go through your battery quicker. You'll be able to see what your current power setting is and adjust your power setting along with seeing other useful data like your speed, how far you've traveled, how much battery you have left, and importantly, how much range, as in how much further you can travel with your remaining battery. E-bikes combine your pedal power with a little bit of an electrical boost to give you a fun, eco-friendly and fairly budget-friendly way of getting around. If you want more info on the maximum speed limits and the maximum power you're allowed on your e-bike in Australia, then watch this video next.